Hi, I'm Noasha. It's second UDR, Universe Development Report. There weren't any videos for two weeks because I love my life. So to be notified when I upload a new video, please subscribe, click on that bell and like this video just to do the whole combo. I won't talk much about why there weren't any videos because no one cares, okay? But a few weeks ago, I just was very excited, full of energy, I'm flying home, blah blah blah. But when we got to our airport, we couldn't get our baggage for two and a half hours. Because they couldn't open the freaking trapdoor in the plane! I needed to do my homework. It was Saturday morning and all of my copy books were in the suitcase. Then I came home and it was dirty as hell. My grandparents live here and they were actually pretty clean. But my room was destroyed by my nephew. There was garbage all over the place, on my desk and someone... Someone touched my ponies! They were laying instead of standing! And it, it, it all just killed me straight forward! Stop doing that! Please! I'm recording! What's wrong with you? Thanks. And now you might ask why I'm telling you that. It's because I burned out right after a nice vacation. Mmm. I barely did my homework when the baggage arrived on the next day. And in school, I didn't understand anything and it was so exhausting. This week was rough too, because I was sick for a whole week. My throat was hurting, my nose was running, I couldn't speak, I couldn't breathe. And right now my throat still hurts a little, but it's not that bad. And I just didn't have spare time at all. And also some insane things. Surprises from my sister. These all are the things that instantly killed me. I need some more rest. But I have two artworks with pretty close deadlines and I need to finish them somehow. Then I need to record videos for my channel. And I need to, you know, go to school and stuff. Haha! -ha! I hope now you understand me. If you skip that, I don't care, I understand you. Now let's talk about my universe progress. And I have some things to tell you. Wow! When I was on vacation, I fully designed Gwen. It was fun. I really like her appearance, but I struggled just a little, just a tiny bit with her hair. I just did one particular sketch and I loved it, but I couldn't redraw it. But on the next day, I didn't even understand what I drew. But I hope right now you can see me drawing her, quote-unquote, final design. <laughs> Also before her, you saw me doing a full sketch of Sir. And there, with... And there, right after Gwen, I started designing Heather. And finished on PC. I took some old concepts of her pony version, because they're very nice. I still like them. So that means... I did a great job! And with Heather, I quickly sketched her silver squirrel and a book where it lives. I still don't know if it's him or her. And I didn't color the book, because it's definitely not the final look, but that's a vague idea of what I want it to look like. And what's for the story? I wrote all the questions for third, fourth, fifth, and six chapters but it was hard i wanted to know answers on everything but it's very hard i was sitting in the car we were driving to the airport i had like three hours 
while we were driving and I had three or four hours while we were flying. So that's plenty of time. Stop! Stop banging on my wall, man. Why do you need to do that when I'm recording? Why? That's not fun. I can bang too. Do you want that? Stop. Stop. No. Thank you. I'm listening for you. No. No. So that was plenty of time. I'm gonna bang. I'm gonna find a drill. And I'm gonna drill a hole in my wall to scream at you. Are you happy? So that was plenty of time. So I decided to write some stuff, but I didn't know what to write. There I have all the questions and all the answers, but how do I implement those answers and questions in the story? Do I really need to do that? So I decided to quickly create a new story from scratch, something easier, so I could at least understand what to do. Meet Dasha. She's a Russian girl that lives in a Russian village. She met an alien. He's a big blob of some cosmos liquid. He is lost. And in the village, there is a very bad person. He rules this village. Everyone hates him, but too scared to do anything. Because he can turn you into a gold statue that will stand in his big mansion forever. This little girl and her friend decided to find his ship, fix it, and scare away that evil guy from the village. And that's the story. Very simple and fun. And then I kind of realized that I don't need to know all the answers on all the questions. First, I must fully create the characters, their stories, and only then I can write a big one putting these pieces together and maybe erasing some of them so people can theorize. But I'm stupid! I thought that I knew these characters, but I don't. So I want to do some writing. I don't need answers on their questions. I just need to know what exactly happened. For example, I don't even know if Sura and Iri are related or not, but you neither. Let's count how many characters I need to write down. You! Sir, Heather, Gwen, Nala, Stapi, Iri, the King, and the Princess. I think that's it. That is eight stories. This time I won't add any new goals. I won't be able to at least get to one goal in two weeks. And let's not consider other two, three weeks. <laughs> okay, I did something and I'm happy about it. I don't need a deadline, but that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching for listening to my very interesting story. Bye-bye and good luck.